and welcome to that bible guy where we answer your difficult questions on the bible um, today what I've done, I'm just trying out a new mic here just to see what the sounds like. So it's a bit of a trial today as well. But I have a question today. And the question was asked by my daughter actually. Lots of questions. Again, send your questions in. But a question on the Bible was, and I have thought about this before. Did Jesus call people fools? So did Jesus call people fools? It's a bit like a rhetorical question because we kind of know that Jesus did say that. That term, let's see in a moment. Um... But we do know something very clear from scripture. So we'll look at the terms that Jesus used in a moment. But we'll look at the reason why we're asking this question. Because we kind of know what it says in Matthew 5. Matthew 5 it tells us and it's all about murder. It's Jesus speaking about the Old Testament law now versus the New Testament law. He said you've heard that it was said to people long ago. Matthew 5.21 You shall not murder and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fires of hell. So it's saying here, it's not just about murder, it's about being angry. But it's saying you should not call anyone Raka. You should not call anyone a fool. If you do, you'll be in danger of the fires of hell. So then my daughter had read Matthew 23, and which talks about Jesus speaking to the Pharisees. And it's also when I look 11 verse 40 also. So it's in two places where Jesus uses a term that she had questioned. And I appreciate it because maybe you've had that same question as well. It said in Luke 11 verse 40 it says, You foolish people, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? But now as for what is inside, you be generous to the poor and everything will be clean for you. Good reminder, be generous to the poor. But Jesus says, you foolish people. And that's essentially what he says in Matthew 23. He now says in Luke as well, you foolish people. And I read this and I know my, my daughter had read this and, and was a bit put off, disturbed by this. She thought Jesus is saying to these people, you foolish people. Yet in Matthew 5, it says, don't call anyone a fool. So I investigated, looked into this a little bit more as it done before. Um, the term Matthew 5 is raka, the term we just read. Um, Raka means empty headed. Um, it's a term of reproach, which we'll look at in a moment. The word again is Raka. The Greek word is Raka, which is a term of reproach. We'll get into that more in a moment. But the word used in Luke 11 here is a word aphrons. So A P H R O N E S, the Greek word aphrons or aphron. It meant senseless, without thought or reason or rash. So that word, it was a different Greek word, aphron. And then the Matthew 23, I looked this one up as well, it's more, so M-O-R-O-I. So it was another word to describe something foolish. And in this one, it was just a term foolish or acting foolishly. So in Luke 11, it was aphron, sense of thought or reason or rash. And then in Matthew 23, it was more, foolish or acting foolishly. So they're different Greek words than the word raka. When Jesus used the words foolish here he was talking about a person acting rashly without thinking unwisely or having acting without all the information that's not the usage of Matthew, Matthew 5 and I know I've done this with my daughters they've done something that you know they've went and broke something that I said if you do that again that's probably going to break and then they come back after it's broken and you say now that was a bit foolish and they might say it of themselves you're, you're saying this person is acting foolishly Matthew 5 is a different context. The Greek word raka meant something different. It expressed the judgment call on someone's character rather than their actions. To say a man was empty headed back in this time in, in the Greek culture was a grave insult. Um, if you look at the bottom of your Bible, Bibles where the word raka comes in, it's an Aramaic term of contempt. So it was identified as a term of contempt. You're describing someone's moral character, not their actions. So racket, the term, as I say, was a term of great reproach, uh, both in its defini definition and its cultural meaning of the word, um, was a slang, as it said, read somewhere, it was the slang designed for vulgar insult. So it was a vulgar insulting term to say you're, mor you're, you're basically the someone's, describing someone's moral fiber. The context of Matthew 5 then, as we know also, was it talking about being angry with your brother and the context was, was murder and now anger is 
is the same idea. And maybe again, not to the same extent, but it's the underlying motives are, are anger. And it basically was saying, Jesus or Paul was never using the term foolish in this context, in the context of anger. It was a context of the Pharisees where he was correcting their actions, telling that their actions are not consistent with their words. And that was the context. It was not the context we see in Matthew 5. It's a completely different word usage as well. So there's a very big difference, as I'm sure we all realize, between uh, warning someone that they're acting foolishly. We do it with our children all the time. We hopefully do it with each other as other fellow believers. We, we, we say that's a foolish action. Or if you do this, that's not the wisest choice. We can easily comment on someone's actions. We do all the time in politics and football and just cultural issues. We talk about these things. That's a foolish action. That, that's not acting foolishly. It's very different to call someone this Aramaic term of contempt, a term of vulgar insult, where you're basically belittling someone's character. Someone that God has made, a child of God, you're bringing their character down. So this is just to say that Jesus called people fools. Well, in the raucous sense, vulgar insult, no, he didn't. But he used a term that we would all use to describe someone's actions as being foolish actions. So there's a big difference. So just to draw up or clear up any potential inconsistency in Scripture where Jesus said one thing but then did something completely different. It's just to answer this today. So Jesus did not kill people fools. He called their actions foolish. So if you have any other questions like this, I have a, a vast amount of questions. Please drop your questions my way. Difficult questions, queries about the Bible. Um, I know of an ongoing series at the moment and of another one coming up very soon. I will keep you informed. But if you like this today, please comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've read it differently before. Please share this. Um, let's get God's word out there because we know it is logical and consistent and it's incredible and it has the power to change. If anyone wants to go on and continue to support this ministry, which is definitely growing, please go and visit the link on Patreon and become a patron of this ministry. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get God's word out there. Back again soon.